All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Robertson, and I'm the coordinator languages and culture for the New South Wales Department of Education. The languages and culture team is delighted to be able to host this session today for language teachers from all sectors. I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of all the lands we are meeting on today and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land I am on, the Wallamadigal people of the Darug Nation, whose cultures and customs have nurtured and continue to nurture this land. I would also like to extend my respect to any Aboriginal people who are joining us today. Welcome everyone. And let me start by saying thank you. Thank you for your resilience, your adaptability, courage and commitment over the last term. I hope you all know how amazing you are. And thank you for making the time to be with us today so you can best support your HSC students. As you know, Nessa oversees the running of the HSC. The information we're providing today in this initial session is correct as of today. It has been sourced directly from Nessa's website or from Nessa's email to principals, which was sent last Thursday, the 26th of August. If you have questions relating to the HSC and COVID, the COVID hotline email and phone number are on the screen. I've contacted them many times in the last three weeks and they are very quick to respond. They understand that teachers need clear and quick communication at this time. To ensure you're always accessing the latest information, these are the useful links you need to be aware of. We have shared this presentation in the chat so that you have a copy, including all the links. Make sure you save your copy before the session ends. So let's just summarise where we are now. HSC written exams will be delayed until the 9th of November with a revised timetable and guidelines for a COVID safe HSC to be released by NESA in early to mid September. NESA has announced that teachers will provide marks for their students HSC language oral exams to limit the movement of NESA markers within or outside Greater Sydney. Teachers will provide marks for speaking skills for all language courses. To ensure equity, NESA will moderate the teacher provided marks using the students and cohorts performance in the written exam, having regard to differences in cohort performance in practical versus written course components. And schools have until the 22nd October to submit teacher provided marks through Schools Online for the language oral exams. And this function will open in Schools Online on the 6th of September. The COVID-19 Special Consideration Program is available for all HSC students whose preparation or completion of a performance exam, oral language exam, or their major project is significantly impacted by COVID-19. All students undertaking oral language exams will be automatically included in the program, so schools don't need to submit an application. All participants today were emailed, um, sorry, uh, the oral mark you provide can be your student's trial oral exam mark if your school is, um, has run or is planning to run a trial exam. Your oral mark could also be based on an estimate. This estimate can be predictive in other words, using your professional judgment if your students have not sat an oral exam recently. Or the oral mark you provide can be from an additional oral assessment or exam if your school has the capacity and or the desire to run an additional exam. And that's what we'll be talking about today. The department has published advice on conducting and marking an HSC style oral exam for beginners and continuers on our stage six website. All participants were emailed a copy of our support document earlier today. And I think we can all agree that schools are best placed to meet the needs of their students and to understand their context. Nessa is acknowledging this by trusting teacher professional judgment. If your school chooses to run an oral exam, it will be organised and conducted at a time that suits your school's local needs. And it can be run online, by phone or at school, where permitted, 
in line with New South Wales health advice. If you're at a New South Wales public school and you are running the exam online, please be aware that you do need to follow the department's guidelines. If you're running a face-to-face -face exam, you will need to follow the safety rules. And students should not be provided with their mark. However, you can provide general feedback, which may support the student with their written exam. In addition to the support document already published by the department, NESA is also offering comprehensive support. To support language teachers in determining the oral exam marks, NESA provided schools with an HSC marking support pack via Schools Online on Monday the 30th of August. If you do not have access to Schools Online, please ask your executive to provide you with a copy. NESA has advised yesterday that the Eventbrite link that was in the version that they uploaded on the 30th of August was incorrect. So make sure you have the latest version with the correct link. How do you know if it's the correct link? You will know it's the correct link if languages is included once you click on the Eventbrite link. Completing the HSC support pack will contribute three hours of accredited PD addressing standard descriptor 5.1.2. Please allow up to 30 days for the accredited hours to show up in ETAMS. And teachers can also request to have an experienced marker telephone them to answer questions on the marking process by emailing the COVID-19 hotline. In their support pack, NESA has included an unpacking of the marking guidelines for beginners, continuous, extension, in context, cacaphal, modern Hebrew and Vietnamese continuous courses. On the screen, you can see an example for continuous. On the left are the HSC marking guidelines. And on the right is the unpacking, which indicates the typical skills a student would demonstrate at a particular mark, mark range. This is a very helpful document. So make sure you're provided with a copy by your school. As I said, it was uploaded by Schools Online. NESA is also running a question and answer session from 4 to 4.30 p.m. this coming Monday, the 6th of September. If you still have questions for NESA after today, this would be the forum to ask. You can scan the QR code on the screen now or go to the URL and submit any questions you would like NESA to address at Monday's session. The session will be recorded and you have until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning to submit your questions. And finally, NESA will remunerate schools for providing the HSC oral marks. Schools will receive per course a third of a relief day, which is two hours, for up to eight students, plus 15 minutes for every additional student. These funds will be paid directly to schools, so your school doesn't need to apply. If you have any additional concerns, please let us know. We're happy to continue to respond to your questions and organise additional statewide staff room support if required. For teachers in New South Wales public schools, please make sure you're a member of our statewide staff room. You can join by scanning the QR code on the screen. For teachers from all sectors, please ensure you are subscribed to the Languages New South Wales blog. You add your email address to the RSS feed box on the news page, that's the most important thing, and also to any language specific pages you're interested in. So let's move to the questions you asked us, the department, via our online survey. In our survey regarding the HSC orals, we received a huge number of queries. And almost all of these are addressed through one of the two documents you can see on the slide. On the left is our support document for conducting and marking HSC um, style oral exams, which I mentioned earlier. It's available at the URL on the slide and was also emailed to each of you today. As our survey was for department teachers, a lot of your questions related to recording students. On the right is the department's guidelines for using live video with students, which now includes a special section on conducting stage six languages assessment. Once again, the link is on the slide. For other sectors, please ensure you follow the guidelines for your context. 
There were only three, three questions that weren't addressed through the documents on the previous slide. The first one was in relation to further explanation of the moderating NESA will do. With regard to moderation, NESA will moderate the teacher provided marks using the students and cohorts performance in the written exam, having regard to differences in cohort performance in practical versus written course components. If you would like more information, you will need to contact NESA directly. Remember, you have until 9am tomorrow to submit questions for NESA's live session on Monday. Alternatively, you can contact NESA's COVID hotline. In relation to providing feedback after the exam, this is a school-based decision. Your feedback may be written or oral. Our only recommendation is that you focus on the areas which would support students in the written exam. And finally, how to record using Zoom. That's an easy one. You just hit the record button at the bottom menu and choose if you want the recording saved to your computer or the cloud. We have a how-to guide on this. So if you'd like it, please put your name in the chat and we can send it to you. Or we're also happy to have a practice with people. So before we move into your breakout rooms, just one last thing I'd like to mention. On our language specific pages for stage six, if you look at beginners or continuous for your language, you'll find practice speaking questions organized by topic. Our stage six landing page URL is on the slide. If you're on a computer, the languages menu is on the left of the screen. If you're on your phone or tablet, it's actually at the bottom of the screen. Once you've navigated to your language and course, for example, German beginners or Chinese continuous, you'll see the speaking questions there. Remember, questions for the conversation are not set. These are just ideas to get you thinking. So before I finish, I wanted to say a huge thank you to the Languages and Culture team, Karina, Evia, Marcella, Maxine and Chanel. This team has been pulling together support, including this session today, very quickly and capably responding to your needs in schools. This includes identifying markers, finding student recordings, preparing support materials and answering questions via phone, email and the statewide staff room. And also a very special thank you to the teachers who have helped us bring today to fruition, the experienced markers who are leading our language specific sessions, and also to the teachers who have provided recordings for the collaborative marking using the guidelines. Uh, we have over 200 people uh, enrolled with 20 experienced markers working across eight languages in 21 breakout rooms. It's been a marathon effort, so thank you to everyone who's been involved. Please be aware that the experienced marker leading your group may not have experience in marking your course. For example, you may be teaching French beginners, but your marker is experienced in French continuous. Don't let this worry you. There will be other teachers of your course in your group and the marker's experience is in marking a conversation at HSC level, so much of the information is transferable. So that's it from me. You will now be moving out of this Zoom room and into a new Zoom room. We emailed everyone the links earlier today, and I also added the document with the link for each language specific group to the chat. So in a moment, please exit this meeting by clicking on the red leave button, then open the document with the Zoom links, click on the Zoom meeting where your name is and enter that new Zoom room. Karina will stay in this main room here. So if anyone gets lost, just come back to this room because you've all managed to find this room and Karina will be here to help you out. Um, enjoy the rest of your afternoon working in your language specific groups and thank you so much. That's goodbye from me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For anyone that's waiting for that, um, that doesn't, can't find that email, I'm just about to upload um, also another link to the language specific rooms you're going to. Um, and our numbers are also in the chat if you need to call us. I've just seen a question in the chat. How likely is it that the written languages exam will run? Uh, we don't have that information. So um, as the department, we're not NESA. Um, and so we, we find out our information usually at the press conferences when everyone else does. Uh, we, don't, we don't get any advance warning. Um, so I'm sorry, I can't answer that one. Um, but otherwise, no other questions. So um, goodbye, everyone, and head off to your language-specific Zoom meeting, and I'll be with the German. <laughs>